my channel. I haven't done one of these in a really long time and I actually used to do a lot of like, c cover a lot of luxury on my channel. If you're new to my channel because you've been searching for luxury, just know that I am a lover of luxury but my channel covers a whole bunch of different things like tech and cars and medicine and science and vlogging and a little bit of luxury here and there. Now the reason why I'm doing this video is because I haven't been doing like regular unboxings on my channel of things that I have purchased that are luxury because I don't wanna throw a whole bunch of luxury videos in your face like all the time. So that way, if you're not into luxury, you can skip this video, it's totally fine. No harm, no foul. If you're here for the medicine, you stay for the medicine. If you're here for the tech and the travel hacks and all that stuff, then you stay here for that, but you don't have to watch this video. So this is not a video to like brag and say, oh, look how much money I spent. It's not about that, okay? So this is over a long period of time, probably the last six months to a year, and, it, and even then, this is still like a lot for me. Like I have really toned down the luxury purchasing uh, compared to 2016, 2017 era. You know what I'm talking about? If you've been following me that long, you knew there were a lot of luxury unboxings in that era. But I've toned it down, mainly because I'm just, I, I just, I see things, I, I, I don't really follow a whole lot of luxury YouTubers anymore, and so the influence has gone down quite a bit. I think that really helps, to be honest with you. And I've just been kind of like, okay, what do I like? What do I want? And when I stopped doing like regular luxury unboxings, on my channel, I felt like I could purchase more for me and I wasn't influenced by like, what's the hot new bag that I can unbox for a video, you know what I mean? So it became more about what do I wanna use and wear and I have been so much happier with my purchases because of that. One exception to this is my two blindfold unboxings that I've done in the last six months and those are really fun. Those are just straight up fun, straight up gamble, very interesting. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, I do want to know if you guys want me to do like an entire handbag collection video because that one I haven't done in a couple years and things have changed. So as you can see behind me, we have, a, you can't actually even see it all, but you'll see it in the thumbnail if you've already clicked this video. There's quite a few unboxings. We've got some small leather goods. We've got a couple of handbags. We've got some luggage. We've got all sorts of stuff. And then this guy, uh, girl, I should say, I picked up two days ago from the Hermes store here in Houston, Texas. It's been a long time coming, but I finally have been offered. Well, you guys know I've been offered bags by Hermes before, but I've turned all of them down. The one Hermes handbag, you can't see it, it's uh, it's out of, out of the frame. The one Hermes handbag that I have been offered and purchased is a Constance, and I will link that up here so you can watch that video if you wanna watch it. I got the call, it was my first kind of like, offered handbag that I really wanted as well. So stay tuned if you're into lu luxury and you really like like, you know, high-end stuff like Louis Vuitton. We've got Louis Vuitton, we've got Hermes, we've got Chanel. So anyway, we'll get the first one out of the way really quickly because I have already done a what's in my bag video, which I will link up here in a vlog. So this is my uh, newest Chanel piece. This is the Chanel CC Trendy in the small size in lambskin, black lambskin. I picked it up from the, I, I don't know why I keep saying picked it up. That's actually one of my pet peeves. I hate when people say picked it up, like when it's something really expensive, they make it sound really casual. I hate that, so I don't know why I'm saying that. But anyway, I bought this with my own money, obviously, from the Chanel in the Houston Galleria. And I can link my sales, or not link my sales associate, but I can write their information or their name down below in case you want a really nice person who's really down to earth and is a really a really enthusiastic lover of handbags and is a real is really passionate about Chanel. He is wonderful. So anyway, this is the Chanel handbag. And this until until about yesterday is what I've been using the most and I love it. My newest handbag is actually the Palace BB from Louis Vuitton. And this is so wonderful. There are a couple things that I love about this. So I love that it's actually quite slim. So this is a crossbody bag. It has top handles that fold down. I love that. I can't stand handbags that have like this on a crossbody, like that just stay up all the time because then they dig into your boob. Anyway, I love when a crossbody bag has handles that flop down. It has a non-adjustable strap that does fit me crossbody, but if you're pretty tall, um, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be the best, but let me show you for reference. Here's what it looks like. 
So it's it's actually the perfect it's actually the perfect length for me, but I am 5'2, so I'm I'm actually pretty short. So it might be one you want to go try on in store if you've been interested in it. I love that it has a microfiber lining that's black on the inside. It does make it kind of hard to see what the contents of your bag. It has two really large, has two really large zips that um, are double, so you can like you know open it up just a little bit, or if you're someone who's really likes to like zip them in the middle and have that kind of look going on. That's always an option. Cool thing about this bag is that it actually has magnetic. Do you see that? There's actually magnetic pockets here. So you can slip your phone in here or you can slip your phone in here. You can slip little accessories or like your keys or something. So that has th actually three pockets. And this whole three pocket like bag thing is a really big three compartment bag thing. It's been a really big deal ever since the Pochette Matisse, I feel like. Let me tell you why I like this because it reminds me of the Speedy 25 bandolier and the Pochette Matisse had a baby because it's got the opening of a Speedy, but it has three different compartments like a Pochette Matisse. And I like that it's flatter like the Pochette Matisse. I just feel like the Speedies, even the 25, even though that's my favorite size, it sticks out a little bit on your hip when you're wearing it crossbody. So this is just nice and flat. It's a little bit more inconspicuous in my opinion. I love that the, it's black so you don't have to worry about wearing it in the rain. It's a really great bag. I highly recommend it. This has been such a favorite of mine ever since I got it. This next bag has to be unboxed standing up, but it is such a beauty. I can't wait to use it. I haven't actually used it yet. I was go going to bring it to Norway, but then with all the snow and everything, I thought maybe that wasn't the best idea. And then we were going to go somewhere later in a couple of weeks, and then that got canceled because of coronavirus. So there will be a time when she gets to get her first scratches and everything, but this is... I can't remember what it's called. Horizon, and it's the larger size for the carry-on, and it's just so beautiful. Look at that. I really liked how this cane looks like when you're carrying it in the, I don't know, like if you're carrying it in the airport. I just think it's a really cool bag. And it has a really nice opening, and it's just something, you know, to have a piece of, of iconic Louis Vuitton luggage was like always a dream of mine, and so um, I finally, have one and uh, I'm really excited about it. I don't know if you can even see me because it's a little bright right now. It has these beautiful like natural leather that will kind of get scratched and stained over time and this thing is gonna get scratched for sure. Like it's gonna be used and it's not. I'm not gonna be precious with it but until it earns its first uh, scratches, it's gonna live in this dust bag for now because mostly because I wanna toddler proof it. So I don't want my toddler like, Luggage is really fun to a toddler. They really like rolling luggage, especially now that that luggage pretty much across the board comes with these four independent wheels. They like to just kind of push it all over the house. And I just, she can do that with my other bags, but just not with this one. <laughs> all right, so this is another luggage piece that I've been, I, I've been eyeballing this for probably five or six years. And I saw that they had redesigned the bag and made it a lot slimmer and it's, it's really like a lot less kind of bulky and like pregnant looking, if that makes sense. I'll include a picture of the old version and now you can see what it looks like now, which is completely slim. Like there's no like pocket here. This is called the eye care or Icare, Icare. I think it's almost like Icarus, but I'm not entirely certain. So I care, eh, I care about Louis Vuitton. <laughs> the thing I really liked about this is that it's a, just a modernized carry-on bag. So again, it's really slim. You can fit a normal size laptop in here and you can fit all of your business documents and your kind of carry-on stuff and anything you would want with you on a plane. You could take this to a business meeting. Might be a little flashy in this color for a business meeting, to be honest with you, but I've seen doctors with a similar version of this in like epi, black epi leather, and it looks a lot more understated, which is a really nice option if that's, if that's your thing. But I really liked that it came with this Horizon strap, which is the strap that you attach to make it fit that, her well, the Horizon luggage that I just showed you. Because normal, um, the only thing about the Horizon uh, luggage is that normal, carry-on bags that have like a pass-through trolley sleeve will not work so you have to have this little strap and the cool thing about this strap is i can pretty much put it on almost anything that will have like a d-ring and it'll work for any carry-on bag but 
um, yeah, so it will fit and it just slots right over my, uh, it's just a really cool like combo piece, you know what I mean? So the two of them together looks ultra chic and really extra and I love it. All right, if the um, angle has shifted or the contents on the bed are gone, it's because I've actually come back because I realized I missed one, two, three small leather goods. So, uh, actually just accessories, I'm not even all small leather goods. But anyway, so I'm back <laughs> and I'm inserting this into the Louis Vuitton portion of the video and then we'll get on to the Hermes unboxing. But I recently purchased this scarf in the last six months and it's just been so beautiful. I love it. It's in this beautiful color called grayish or, but it really, I don't, I'm, I think that's what it's called, but it really describes the color. It's this just shimmery, grayish beige color that is just so soft, so luxurious, so beautiful. I will link it down below if you wanna um, check it out on Louis Vuitton's website, but yeah, it just got this fringe detail here and it is made of, don't, don't ask me that because I don't know what it's made of. I think it's part cashmere, no, part silk, part wool, I wanna say. Let me see. It says, yeah, 60% silk, 40% wool. So it's not itchy, it's super soft. It is on the delicate side, but basically it's a dream. So if you've been, ever been thinking about getting um, a scarf, this is like a really large one and it's just, oh, it's also scrumptious, I love it. They might even have some pre-loved that I can link down below. The next one is a story of the six key ring holder. This one I purchased pre-loved when I was living in my old house in Houston in the Heights. And um, it's just, it's treated me so well. It's been probably going on, I would say about seven years now. It's one of my first small leather goods. It's just been beaten to within an inch of its life. It's super like flat and um, I just, I actually have like, look, it just, it's just really been put through the ringer. So um, I love this so much and I use this every single day and I heard that these are getting harder and harder to find. So I was like, that's it. If they're getting harder and harder to find and I already had in my mind that if there's anything I'm gonna repurchase because I've used so much, this is the first time I've ever done this, then it's gonna be this guy. So I actually ended up purchasing a new one and you can see how much like floofier and like it's not as flat and everything's nice and shiny again and it just feels it feels really nice so um, i just got the usual the usual um key holder thing and then because you can't really fit a key fob in here i've never been able to fit a key fob in here without it being kind of warped as i was browsing the website for to pick up this pick up there i did it again to purchase this six key holder that i love so much I came across this strap and I thought, you know what, that would be perfect to put my key fob on. So it has my key fob here and I don't know what this is called, but I will put a link to it on the Louis Vuitton website and or any pre-loved versions that I can find. If that's your bag, then we, you, that will all be down there for you below. But yeah, so this is a strap, a key strap, and it's, it's really pretty. I don't know. I mean, it's just like a a normal, a normal key key ring, um, and it says Louis Vuitton on it, I believe, and it has it on both sides here, and it's just really pretty, and it has like a miniature print compared to like the normal size. You see that? It's so cute. I will have timestamps to everything. It's probably too late now to say that, but anyway, timestamps will be down below. I'm gonna tell you the story after I unbox this because then it'll give it'll give away what it is. But this is enormous. It is a bag. It's a Birkin or a Kelly. So you know, I'm not teasing you with anything else. It's a Birkin or a Kelly. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Straight from the Hermes Houston store, offered to me by my sales associate. Can't believe it. Dream come true. Oh. <gasps> This is the most beautiful Hermes bag I've ever seen in my entire life. And I've owned a couple of Hermes bags and sold a couple of Hermes bags. And this is the most beautiful. Are you ready for this? Because I'm ready. Are you ready?
pristine tissue paper. Apparently all the sales associates were fawning over this when they saw it come in the store. And it was offered to little old me. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe it. What is it? Could be a Birkin, could be a Kelly. Put your guesses in the comments below. I'm sorry if I keep looking in the viewfinder. It's just that the sun is going in and out of the clouds and so I don't want it to be too overexposed for the majority of the video. So I just have to keep checking, but yeah, I'm sorry about that. I promise I'm not checking myself out. My eyesight's not good enough for me to, you're kind of far away. So I can't really, I'm not checking myself out, I promise. All right. So are we, have we submitted our guesses yet? I'm gonna put this down, I hope that's okay. Have we submitted our guesses yet? Oh, I'm so excited! To reveal. Can you see it? Okay, good, you can see it. Oh, this is, okay, the smell. Oh my God, it's like walking into a, like, um, a farrier, like a, like a, like an equestrian store. This is so delicious smelling. And if you know anything about Hermes, this is a very special leather. The leather, we'll have a story about it. I'll try not to keep you in suspense any longer. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? It's got two handles. <laughs> oh my God. God, this is so gorgeous. Oh my God, this is so, look at this bag, y'all. Okay, so this is not the color gold, which is the standard kind of tan color. That's like a uniform color. It stays that color all the time. It doesn't change. This is a different, this is a little bit more expensive um, leather. This is called Berenia Faubourg. Faubourg is the street in Paris that the Hermes flagship store um, started on and is there. Um, Berenia is a very special leather. It's this fawn color, this, this gold color that is very similar to the style gold in, uh, in Hermes leathers, but this actually is a like vegetable tanned, like there's like a lot of processes that go through, that this leather goes through to, to achieve this color. It's not like, I don't think it's specifically dyed this color. It kind of is tanned to this color and then it oxidizes over time. So basically it's almost like a, like a leather that will change and patina and create and have a bunch of, like a lot of character over time. So the bag kind of ages with you, which is really special. Um, but this is a newer leather in the last couple of years. I wanna say it was introduced in 27, 2018. Well, this is a unicorn for sure. This leather is a unicorn. It's really, really hard to uh, come across one of these bags. It's very rare and um, let alone with the gold hardware. It's much more popular, uh, popularly made in the palladium hardware, which is like a silver appearance, but the gold hardware with Berenia Faubourg is like an absolute unicorn and it's a size 30, which is the size that I'd been wanting. So um, yeah, it's gorgeous. Let's, let's undo it because this is only the second time I've held her and she smells so good. I was thinking of naming her like something like Dulce de Leche or something. My criteria was ne like a neutral. So I wanted a neutral and he was like, well, would you be interested in this? And I was like, heck yeah. It has kind of this cool like veining. It has a, almost like a little bit of a mottled appearance, which if this was the color gold would be like not desirable because it wouldn't be uniform. Gold is, the gold color is supposed to be uniform. It's like a standard Togo leather. This is Berenia Faubourg. It is not Togo. It's totally different. So it has like a natural appearance that really kind of modeled and it gets patina over time. It's a really special, special leather. And anyway, so if you're a fan of handbags, then you know, you kind of understand what I'm talking about. But if you, if you don't care, then you probably think that I'm absolutely nuts and super materialistic and that's okay. But I just really appreciate Hermes bags. I love Hermes. I love, uh, I love what they, what they do and how they create, like for example, like one craftsman created this bag for, for, which ended up in my hands. He didn't make it for me, but it ended up in my hands and that, you know, was made by one person's two hands, right? So, and over many, many days, like I can't remember off the top of my head, but it takes this long to make one Birkin handbag. And they're, they hold their value so well over time. And they, this is something that I can just hand down 
to Harper when she's old enough. Like this is this is a collectible like forever bag. And I love my Birkin 25. I'm never gonna get rid of that one. That pink Birkin 25 is beautiful. I love it. Um, I did get rid of my gray Kelly because I just decided Kelly's are not for me. At first I liked the strap, but then I decided it was a little bit too formal and I really like the kind of like casual feel of a Birkin, if that makes sense. So yeah, this is my new handbag. Ugh, I can't wait to take the stickers off and just enjoy her and use her and let her kind of breathe and let's put let's put all of her accoutrement. <laughs> I can't wait to show this to HB. He's been, he's like, is that your bag? Is that your bag? And I told him, you know, when I was offered and he was like, go get it. And I was like, yeah. Oh my God. This is just not the most gorgeous handbag you've ever seen. Look at that. That is stunning. I'm so excited. Anyway, so yeah, it's a really special color. It's also not, quite the same as the gold color. So I actually have a belt that's reversible and has gold and black. And then I have, um, and when I say gold, it, it's the Hermes color of tan basically. So, and then I have shoes that are made with the gold leather, which is tan. This is like a little bit more of a yellowy tan. Like it's kind of a lighter tan color and it's a, it has less gray in it. So it's a little bit more vibrant because we compared it with um, some, gold uh, items in the store and it's just it's just absolutely a unicorn this is a unicorn bag and there's just no other way to describe it like not only i mean come on like it's an hermes birkin for god's sakes like it's an hermes birkin 30 which is not easy to find anyway or to be offered one and then this kind of like it's just incredible so like for example berenia faubourg instead of being stamped with gold foil is actually blind stamped. Do you see that? It's blind stamped onto the bag. So that's another like detail. It doesn't look super shiny right now because the stickers are still on it, but it's just one of those like beautiful details that it just makes it really special. So anyway, yeah. So this is the inside. It's got that paper that comes with an Hermes Birkin. Oh my God, the smell is filling this whole room. So Aaron, Berenia leather has a smell to it that is just, it smells like a saddlery shop. I gave my sales associate a huge hug. I was like, this is perfect. I love it. Is this not me or what? I love it so much. So anyway, I do have a list of some other Birkins that I would like in other colors and that they're definitely not off the table, but Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing and I'm really excited about it. I'm so happy and I hope that it brought you some joy as well because if you're anything like me, I like watching other people enjoy their bags and and unbox wonderful things and and you know get really excited about stuff like that because it just makes me happy to see someone else happy so hopefully the same thing happened for you and if you have any questions about the process or um you know, what the bag costs or runs uh, compared to like a Togo Birkin, for example, you can always just leave me a message down in the comments or DM me on Instagram. I'm at Christina Brawley everywhere. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. Let's have a discussion. What do you think? Um, what would be your dream combination if you're lusting after a Birkin or a Kelly? I would love to know and we can all just kind of enjoy a little bit of handbag goodies and eye candy and yeah, like I said, this is not intended to shove you know, any luxury in your face. If you don't wanna watch it, please, you know, I, I totally get it. I totally understand it's not for everybody. There, I definitely have friends and colleagues that don't, that it's not about don't get it, they just aren't interested. It's not about either get it or you don't. It's just, it either interests you or it doesn't interest you. You either collect luxury or you don't. Like it's it's either your thing or it's not. And for me, it's my thing and I really enjoy it and I'm not shoving it in the face of anybody who doesn't enjoy it. So yeah, this is just for the people who wanna just mutually drool over some luxury because I love it and I enjoy spending my money on it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I If you enjoyed it, I would love it if you would smash that like button, ring my bell. <laughs> Go ahead and ring that bell and then make sure that you're subscribed if you haven't subscribed already. I am a physician anesthesiologist, a mom, dog mom, YouTuber, and wife. And I am not particularly in that order, but I love luxury. I love a lot of things and you'll see that my channel is very diverse. I really enjoy just kind of putting everything on one channel instead of having a million channels. See, the sun is going, sorry. But yeah, so um, again, you know, you might come for the luxury and stay for everything else. And it's totally fine if you come for something else and you don't wanna watch certain types of videos for me. 
also totally fine. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video, which will not be a luxury unboxing or handbag video. So <laughs> yeah, see you in the next one.